Hello and welcome to yet another philosophical improvisation. Today we will speak about Sherlock Holmes and its contemporary adaptation called Elementary, placing Sherlock Holmes in New York. It is interesting to see the evolution of such a series in which the character of Sherlock is at the very beginning quite cynical, very anti-conformist and to the point that he seems to be an exemplification of everything that's not American. He is indeed a very 19th century British character, a dandy, that follows his principles and ethics. Nevertheless, as time goes by, under the influence of Watson, who is a woman, he becomes more conventional in the form of someone who pays more attention to his emotions and a form of empathy towards his fellow collaborators. Now that's interesting because it was in a way an original rupture of conventions to make Watson a woman, to choose a, a woman for the role of Watson. But it is less unconventional to assume that she embodies the emotional intelligence, although she can also display the type of analytic intuition that Sherlock displays. Now, why is the character of Sherlock interesting philosophically? Probably because Sherlock Holmes is a very integrated outsider. He is clearly not adapted to his society. Nevertheless, he has this unique skill that makes him useful. There are several indications, however, that show that Sherlock Holmes sees himself as a failure. For example, his violin, right? He could have been a virtuoso, an artist. A few indications show also that he could have used his intelligence for philosophy itself rather than chasing criminals. Having said that, there is a deep correlation between philosophy and criminology. Philosophy is a form of criminology adapted to humanity itself, to large groups, to epochs. What is criminal in our time? What would be healthy? What would be peace? What would be a society without ontological crimes? And the biggest crime for philosophy is probably against difference itself, against the variation of possibilities as potentials. Now, philosophy is not completely a criminology in the sense that it finds the perpetrators of the crime, it discovers the culprits as a collateral result of a much more positive and affirmative quest. Philosophy is looking for the principle of creative peace, and in doing so, of course, it points to the factors, mechanisms, structures, and ideologies that prevent humanity from reaching such a state of intellectual, physical, existential bliss. That's it for today. This was yet another philosophical improvisation. See you tomorrow.